Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband episode 50. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode, which is the cat logo will be used, so blur and all that stuff. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who wants to gain early access to my content for the month of August, meaning all the reads that you guys see that I'm currently doing instead of waiting for it to be premiered, you guys will have early access there. And there is no, there is no cat logo, there's no blur, no censorship whatsoever for all my reads as well. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew, that was a mouthful. Huh? Oh. Mom! Mommy! Huh? Yonji! Marry My Husband, Episode 50. Get in the back seat! Hurry! Uh, uh, why is she so heavy? Just get ready to drive! Huh? Oh, who snatched her? Grab Yonji! Yonji! Yonji, come here! Huh? Hey, who the hell are you? Let go of me! Are you okay, Yonji? Uh, uh, Yonji! Uh, mommy! How dare you try to kidnap my niece! Huh? I've got you now. You're not going anywhere! Uh, let go! Opa, help me! Shit! I need to get out of here. He's about to dump his girl there. Oh. You bastard! How dare you try to kidnap my granddaughter? Oh. M -m 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 Mr. Ying! It's all just a big misunderstanding. I, I wasn't trying to kidnap her. Shut up! You're no son in law of mine. I'm going to make you pay for this. Yeah! Did he whoop his ex-son-in-law's butt? Please do. Please, please, please. But then again, we don't want that because that guy can press charges and be like, oh, it's assault. <laughs> please, officer. Shouldn't we be the ones to press charges? They assaulted us. Both parties assaulted each other. She also hit this woman over here. It's because she started beating me up. I did it out of self-defense. <laughs> then you shouldn't have kidnapped Yonji. Is it a crime to want to see my own daughter? My wife kept her hidden for days and wouldn't let me see her. Please, calm down, sir, and settle with the other side. It was a family squabble, so you should resolve this in a peaceful manner. Excuse me? You want him to settle with us? My child almost got abducted. My husband and his mistress try to take my child away from me. It seems to me he did because he missed his daughter. Just let it go, ma'am. He is a father after all. Please stop bickering and come to an agreement. It wasn't because he missed his daughter. How can you expect her to let it go? They tried to kidnap her child. <laughs> exactly. I guess you get a bonus if you get the parties to settle, officer. Dun -dun. Mr. Lee? Jihyuk! You, you're that jerk I ran into in front of the cafe! <gasps> what the hell is he trying to do? Officer, did you follow that as a kidnapping case? Huh? Kidnapping case! I was just trying to see my daughter! Oh, please. You are going to hold Yonji hostage because of the divorce settlement. I was there when he said, Keep your parental rights. I don't care. Just cancel the alimony. W when did I say that? Do you have proof? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Dun dun! Oh, Mr. Lee, you be looking good right now for having Miss Yang's back. Let's go. Oh, fine. Then keep your parental rights. I don't care. Just cancel the alimony. Click. Oh, come on. Cancel the alimony while I'm asking nicely, okay? You little. 
Now you're really pissing me off. <gasps> this happened around 8 o'clock a few days ago, and everything was recorded on security camera located in front of the cafe. I witnessed it myself, and I have footage to prove it. So I suggest you categorize this as a kidnapping case and begin your investigation, officer. Woo! Nice to meet you. My name is Hun Suk Lee, and I am a lawyer. Uh, you can take legal steps through me from now on. Oh, and don't worry about the legal fees. I'm doing this as a favor to my little brother. A brother? Brother. Sorry, your little brother? We just thought it was a domestic dispute. <laughs> we didn't realize how serious the situation was. Which is why I brought a lawyer. I didn't think you would understand the severity of this issue at hand. I'll be representing Ms. Yang as her attorney and counsel. Huh? Which means all communications will be handled by me from the point forward. My brother and I will take care of things here. You should head home. Yonji is probably waiting for you. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Lee. Wow, her knight in shiny armor. What just happened there? I'm sorry, I called ji for help. I thought Mr. Lee could be the most competent person to handle the situation. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable by getting Mr. Lee involved in a personal matter. It's alright. Thanks to you and Mr. Lee, the situation was resolved right away. Thank you all for your helping me. I had no idea Mr. Lee's older brother was a lawyer. I guess that's where Mr. Lee gets his decisive personality from. I know, I was surprised as well. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Jun Oni, are you going for, to wait here for Mr. Lee? Yes, I owe him so much and I didn't even get a chance to properly thank him. It's late though. I'm standing in front of a police station, so I'm sure I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. You should go. Um, Oni? Actually, Mr. Lee is the one who asked me to call him. He said that a few days ago your husband tried to attack you and asked me to let him know if you ever needed a witness to cor corroborate what happened. I think he came, be, he came to me because I'm the only person at work who knows about your situation. He looked really concerned, so I couldn't say no. That's why I told ji Hyuk about it and had him call Mr. Lee. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. Mr. Lee asked me to keep it a secret from you. He said you will get angry if you find out. <sighs> it's okay. Thank you for everything. Mr. Yu and Hugh Yoon are probably waiting for you in the car. You should go. All right, I'll get going. Get home safe, Yoni. Hold your head up high, Jun. You may have had a sh crappy husband, but you have so many wonderful people in your life. Thanks for today, Hugh Yoon. Yoon. Get home safe. All right, I'll call you. Go huh? Ms. Yang, what are you still doing here? It's cold outside. I couldn't just leave when you were in there fighting for me. What about Yunji? Is she okay? Yes, she's asleep at my parents' place. <laughs> what a relief. Your husband will have to stand trial for kidnapping. <laughs> my brother will take care of everything, so you don't have to worry. Thank you so much. To tell you the truth, I was terrified at the thought that things could go wrong. Are you grateful for my help? Yes, very much. Then, can I ask you for a favor? What favor? Uh, what is it? I haven't had dinner yet. Can you take me out to dinner? Right now? <laughs> yes, right now. Oh, if you're tired, then uh, you can treat me next time. Uh, I just want to have dinner with you. <laughs> All right, let's do that. <laughs> I'll take you to a fancy restaurant. Really? Don't forget your promise. 
I want. Okay, good. All right, I have something for you. Uh, what's this? It's not a me pot, is it? No, it's Yonji's birthday today. It's not much, but I hope you'll accept it since it's since I got it for Yonji. Mr. Lee. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, that is so cute. And a little hair clips and a glow. I can't. For one, okay, I'm just really glad that, you know, Miss Yang's husband, our soon-to-be ex-husband, did not pull through. He was not able to kidnap his daughter and run away with her. Okay, so... Whew, thank goodness. I'm so glad everyone was quick enough to snatch the blondie and drag her butt back out of the car and was able to save Yonji. And I know she's probably traumatized, the poor baby. But oh my gosh, it's such a good read. And you now see like Mr. Lee and Miss Yang are getting close and it looks like she's slowly opening up to him. I know she's kind of caged up and she kind of like accepted that maybe love isn't for her and all she really needs to do is just provide love and a, care, a, a safe place for her daughter and her own family and just not allow other people into her heart but i'm glad she's slowly accepting the people around her like her co-workers her friends and now mr lee so overall this is a wonderful and sweet read I I get so emotional when I see stuff that involves kids and to see that little like snow globe with the mom holding the baby it just melted my heart. Ah, <sighs> that's that's a wonderful gift, okay? And the little hair clips. <laughs> Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on what y'all think of this read, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!